Trope in the color could have ended in a disaster, but King Charles kept cool and carried on. King Charles continues to put his best foot forward as his first trip in the color as sovereign went off without a hitch. So guys, as we get right into the stories in much detail, please, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button, turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end. Troop in the Color is a much loved annual event that sees members of the royal family come out in force for a morning of pomp and pageantry and this year was no exception. All eyes have been on King Charles to see how his first birthday parade as sovereign went and the event went seamlessly as he introduced a few subtle changes into the proceedings. It was marvelous to see a monarch parading on horseback and was reminiscent of the late queen's younger years. The decision to get back in the saddle was a smart move by the king as it showcased his impressive fitness at the age of 74 and brought fresh excitement to the parade. He also managed to perfectly navigate a tricky situation as his Canadian state novel appeared to get quite bullshy at times. The mayor jerked and pulled at the king's reins, but none of it seemed to face King Charles, who carried on as normal and managed to get the house under control. A queen expert um, suggested not just any rider would have been able to cope with a horse acting as it did, and it would have easily ended in a disaster. But gone are the days of the hot-headed King Charles seen in the aftermath of this mother's death as the monarch appeared to adopt the well-known phrase, keep calm and carry on. Having Prince William, Prince Edward and Princess Anne follow behind him also proved the powerful message that the king is not alone and has a strong support base in other senior working royals. But the trio weren't the only ones to impress the public however, with Queen Camilla wearing a striking military style dress that highlighted her own military ties, it also served as a subtle reminder that she is a king's strength and stay, with a matching attire showing that the couple is very much in step with each other. Kate, the Princess of Wales, sat behind the queen and looked gorgeous in a bright green dress that serves as a fitting tribute to her role as colonel of the Irish Guard. But it was the young stars who stole the show, with five-year-old Prince Louis returning to his cheeky antics by pulling faces, waving and reacting with sheer joy. As the RAF fly pass went over the Buckingham Palace balcony, the balcony looked rather empty when compared to the royal family's previous appearance just over a month earlier for the coronation. The king and queen were joined by the Wales' family, Princess Anne and Sir Timothy Lawrence, the Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh, the Duke and Duchess of Gloucester, and the Duke of Kent. The reduced number of followers served to highlight the king's desire for a slimmed down monarchy as well as highlighting his immediate heirs in Prince William and Prince George. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.